us as Aboriginal people, if we can't tell our stories truthfully, then who's going to? Mrs. Jo Johnson, I'm worried about her. She's alone. Molly Johnson grew up out here. She knows the way. I'm just a drover's wife. As a five-year-old little girl, my mum would read or recite the, the story to me. When she passed away, that was the one thing I took of hers in the house because here's the original book. There's the book. So it had this red cover and that's me writing Dick, Dora, Nip, and this is my grade one reader. So I was five years old. My children need me. They need their mother. I love yous. Love you! Always with you. So I saw myself as that little boy because there was no father figure in my life. My mum's Aboriginal and my white daddy wasn't around. And of course, um, she was also a drover herself in her younger days because her father was a drover. And just in the last, gosh, maybe three years, we found this family photo of his mother. And she's 15 and she's a drover. In, um, in Winton, in, in, in Queensland, Australia. Oh, word travels fast, Randy. State your business. A drive with Joe. So this drive he didn't show. First time in eight years. You're a good man. Come with me. Did you believe her, Molly Johnson? Her husband waving his hat at seeing the children. Somehow it didn't ring true. When I sat down to write the first draft, I, I said, I'm not going to read it the book, I'm going to sit down and try to remember what my mum told me and what I can recall. I guess I didn't start to see what it omitted in the, in the, in the early stages, but I became very aware, aware of the Indigenous plight when I was seven years old. But it wasn't until I reread it after I'd done the first draft on the play that I walked back in and I went, oh, my gosh, Henry Lawson did not give the drover's wife a name. And I said, well, I am. Fight for my children, fight for my life, I will. Whilst hunting savages, please do not turn into one. And I really wanted to go back and look at our history and be the truth teller because it's so important that we be uh, Indigenous people are our keepers of our stories and the truth tellers. Cross me and I'll kill you. I'll shoot you where you stand and I'll bury you where you fall. <laughs> I hope people see it as a great drama of a woman. It's mother's love. It's about surviving and there's hope. There's going to be lovers, there's going to be haters. But if I've emotionally stimulated them, if I've intellectually stimulated them and I created a bait around this film, then I've done my work as an artist. My work has spoken and it's challenged. I'm just a drover's wife. Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more. <laughs>